Jason Chill. What's up, guys? We're going to talk about two things. First, I saw a headline that I want to watch with you guys because it sounds crazy. The headline is Dana White reveals insane threats from another promoter and talks business. That's crazy. Apparently, this promoter threatened to him. So, yeah, we're going to watch that together. And then I don't know if you guys caught wind of this, but I guess the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight is in danger of being canceled. So we're going to go through the details of what that's all about. All right. So first, first things first, let's watch this Dana White thing together. Let's jump into it. Oh, by the way, uh, I've put out probably five videos in the past three days and I haven't got any new subscribers and the videos are good and they're trending. They're getting, you know, thousands of views. Well, some of them are getting thousands of views and you guys just aren't subscribing. You're, you know, having conversation and talking and liking, but if you guys could subscribe, you know, that'll help out the channel and you get to join the community and it helps me out because my goal is to get to a thousand subscribers by August. So let's jump into the Dana White thing. There's bad people that are involved in, in fighting, man. There's lots of bad people. I mean, MMA promoters car bombing each other, and <laughs> then the other yeah. guy shot up the other guy's house wow. with machine guns, and that's the kind of shit that was going on. Yeah. I'll tell you the story. This guy used to text me every day telling me he was going to kill me. Like legitimately? Legitimately going to kill me. You punk motherfucker. I'm going to fucking kill you. You don't understand who I am and what I've done and this and that. I think this guy would get drunk or do drugs every night or whatever his deal was. This guy would call me, text me, and threaten my life every day. I used to go, <laughs> fuck you. and not, not a good human. Let's put it that way. Okay. So that wasn't as sensational as I thought it was going to be. I don't know. I don't know what really to say more about that video. That was a little anticlimactic. So let's just jump into the Tyson thing and talk about that. Okay, so I saw several different media sources that put it out. The U.S. Sun, Sport Bible, Daily Express. They're all saying the same thing. Daily Sports. Let's just go ahead and look at the Sun. That's cool. Okay, <laughs> nice. That's their promo. Headline is Paul gone wrong. Mike Tyson versus Chase Jake Paul at risk of being canceled if boxing legend fails unusual test written into fight rules. So is this something that Jake Paul wrote into the... F no, it's the fight rules. Okay. You know, because Jake Paul writes things into his contracts to give him a, an unfair advantage. I was wondering if he was doing that with Mike. I don't think Mike would allow that, but this is written into fight rules. Iron Mike is set to face the YouTuber turned boxer at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas on July 20th. Both fighters are pushing for the bout to be a professional contest. Well, that's good news. However, the final decision rests with the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulations, the TLDR. The TLDR could also cancel the fight if Tyson fails one of their pre-fight tests. Under their rules, fighters over the age of 38 must submit favorable electroencephalogram EEG and EKG results. Former heavyweight world champion Tyson will be 58 by the time he makes his walk in Texas in four months' time. Ooh, I'm in Texas. I might have to go see that fight in person. I kind of want it to be a professional fight now um, after seeing Tyson training, but let's move, move on. The EEG evaluates a fighter for brain disorders with heart problems detected by the EKG. TDLR, communications manager Telemange, also told USA Today Sports, we can also request additional testing if we think it's appropriate. Even if Tyson passed the test, though, the bout could still be deemed an exhibition fight. 
In this case, both Tyson and Paul would wear 16 ounce gloves instead of the 10 ounce gloves usually seen in pro bouts. The fight would additionally consist of two minute rounds as opposed to three minutes. <laughs> Did you see that? Mike Tyson selling uh, edibles in the shape of an ear. That's funny. There would also be no official judges to score the fight. I don't want that. That sucks. As was the case for Tyson's exhibition clash with Roy Jones Jr. in 2020. Yeah, I, I don't want that. Like, let's just not do it if it's going to be an exhibition fight. Two-minute rounds were also implemented for that bout, which was Tyson's last action inside a boxing ring. Meanwhile, his most recent professional bout came all the way back in 2005. So his last professional fight was in 2005. So they're saying that Tyson and Jake Paul are wanting to this to be a professional boxing match but it's up to the tdlr so i guess we'll see what happens i don't know what when they'll figure this out i mean how can they even promote it right now they're just gonna i guess promote a face-off or whatever but how could they promote the fight when they don't know if it's going to be an exhibition or a pro match it doesn't make a lot of sense because isn't it supposed to be in like a few months like in June or something like that. That's like two bites. After seeing Tyson's training, I like the idea of doing two minute instead of three minute rounds because he's older. But if we're going to have it be an exhibition match, nah. nah. How anticlimactic was it when we watched Roy Jones Jr.? I didn't know it was an exhibition match while we were watching it. They didn't have headgear on. The gloves didn't look bigger. And when they got them next to each other, um, they're like, oh, they both win. And I was just like, no, they both didn't win. Tyson was all over them. Tyson was piecing them up. I am, I'm not too keen on the freaking exhibition matches. I don't care about them. Do you guys care about them? Does it excite you? I mean, it's neat seeing Tyson in a ring with a person in front of him. But it's an exhibition match that, like, come on. They have all these weird rules in exhibition matches, too. Like, no knockouts. You can't knock each other out. You can't try to knock each other out. And they got bigger gloves on. I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's go two-minute rounds with bigger gloves, but make it a professional match. I mean, they're not going to do that. It's either all in or all out, I think. But... I don't know. What do you guys think? Tell me what you think about all this. Uh, this is where I'm at. If it's going to be a pro fight, then yay. Let's do it. If they if that's what they want, let's do it. But if it's going to be an exhibition match, I, I guess. I, I'm a huge fan of combat sports, so I'm going to have to watch it. But it takes out like 80% of the excitement. I want to see Mike Tyson go beast one more time. And I saw an interview with him where they're like, why are you doing this? And he said, it's not for money. It's for legacy. And I like that motivation because Mike Tyson is a savage, right? And if anybody could come out 50, 58 years old and fight this punk kid, Jake Paul, and knock him out it would be mike tyson am i wrong i'm not wrong you've seen the training footage that looks freaking scary you know it's mike tyson and he's still mike tyson the only health issue he really has is sciatica so when the sciatica is not flared up he's fine uh i saw a joe rogan clip where Joe was talking about the reason that this fight might be in danger might not be what they're actually telling us. It might be because they're not selling enough pre-sales of the pay-per-views. But here's the thing. If you are telling us that it might be an exhibition match as opposed to a professional match, that's going to decide a lot whether people are buying the pay-per-view or not. That's going to decide whether I buy it or not. It is. If it's just an exhibition match, I'm not paying for that. 
I'll watch it on YouTube after it's over. I'll watch the highlights. That's fine. But if it's a pro match, you take my money. I'll pay them whatever they're, they're wanting for it, you know? So I don't know if that's a true statement or not, but I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. But anyway, tell me what you guys think. And again, subscribe to the channel if you wouldn't mind. If you like the content, if you don't like the content, don't worry about it. But if you like the content, just subscribe. It helps me out a lot, makes my day, and it helps me reach my goal. And we could hang out and discuss MMA and all different kinds of combat sports. And I will see you in the next video. Chill. Thank you for kicking in with MMA Flex and Chill. Chill. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell, ring the bell.